Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option a 2020 Cadillac Escalade ESV Premium Luxury, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you're in the market for a large luxury SUV, the 2020 Cadillac Escalade is likely on your short list. Few other luxury SUVs have as much roadside presence or established history. Thanks to its truck-based origins, the 2020 Cadillac Escalade combines a burly V8 engine with a towing capacity that maxes out at a stout 8,300 pounds. You also get an impressively quiet cabin, three rows of seating, and plenty of features. The 2020 Cadillac Escalade is a full-size body-on-frame luxury SUV available in four trim levels, standard, luxury, premium luxury, and platinum. The standard trim comes with a dizzying array of equipment, but the premium luxury and the platinum takes this big plush American machine to yet another level. All 2020 Cadillac Escalades are equipped with a 6.2 liter V8 engine that makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque and a 10-speed automatic transmission. Rear-wheel drive is standard and four-wheel drive is optional. All 2020 Cadillac Escalades benefit from a long list of standard features, so that leaves the choice of what creature comforts appeal to you most. I suggest checking out the premium luxury trim that comes with adaptive cruise control, forward and reverse automatic braking, and a rear seat entertainment system. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 Cadillac Escalade. We are going to build and price an ESV. That is the long wheelbase variant. Here we are. We can do a virtual walk around of the Cadillac 2020 Cadillac Escalade. See here, we can see the full exterior. What's also cool is we can see all four trim levels on what they look like. So this is the standard trim level. Here's the luxury trim level. It gets a different set of wheels. Here's the premium luxury. It gets the same set of wheels, but more equipment. And then the platinum. The platinum gets its own set of wheels. Very easy to distinguish a Escalade in platinum trim because these wheels are very distinct. So, yeah, we can also check the exterior colors if we scroll down a little bit. So, here we can see the exterior colors. Let's go back to our premium luxury because that's what we're going to build in price. Let's get a different angle on that. All right. So, here is Black Raven, this color, exterior color. This is Radiant Silver Metallic. We have Red Passion Tent Coat. There's Dark Adriatic Blue Metallic. That's a mouthful. There's Crystal White Tricoat, my favorite. Satin Steel Metallic shadow metallic and dark mocha metallic so they also give us some shots of the interior here's the interior of the 2020 cadillac escalade and obviously a black leather let's go through these slides really fast here's the second row with the captain's chairs here's a nice big shot of the whole interior i like the second row captain's chairs and be able to walk through i know that some manufacturers offer the flip up seats where you can walk in and all that I'd rather have the captain's rolls uh, seats in the second row. Uh, here's a nice shot of the interior from the uh, from the driver's seat. And yeah. All right. So we can also check the color palette for the interior as well. So that was the premium luxury. And we can see all the different seating configurations. Hang on. Let me better configure that. Okay. So our interior choices. Our interior choices for a 2020 Cadillac Escalade premium luxury seem to be just three. This jet, jet black leather seating surfaces with mini perforated inserts or the Kona brown leather seats with jet black accents and mini perforated inserts or the shale, which looks kind of tan, shale leather seating surfaces with jet black accents and mini perforated inserts. So you get a tan, a brown or a black every all these other ones are grayed out. We can't uh, click those. So these are our three options. I'm, I'm normally into the black leather, and I do like the black leather. We're probably going to go with the black leather, but let's just make a note that I think the Kona Brown is very, very attractive. Let's check some features for our 2020 Cadillac Escalade ESV. Uh, let's see. Let's start with these interior features. Let's start all the way over here 
on the right hand side they say second and third row passengers enjoy the available rear seat entertainment system yeah we can see that uh, here they say even more space they're talking about let's see the Escalade ESV that's the long wheelbase that's the one we're going to build in price on the channel today takes roominess and comfort to the next level additional rear seat passenger leg room uh, headroom and cargo space yeah a lot more room back there and then over here on the far left they're just basically talking about the good craftsmanship the fit and finish inside here it's nice including the heated and cooled front seats and heated rear outboard seats that means the seat in the middle is not heated here are a few other notable interior features we've got the 16 speaker Bose center point uh, audio system there you go uh, the handcrafted materials, including authentic wood trims and leather appointments. And then you got the Cadillac Q system. That's Cadillac's infotainment system that gives you, you know, your Bluetooth audio, your navigation, your phone, weather, apps. I'm sure Bluetooth, uh, um, uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, all that kind of stuff. It's all in the Q user experience. All right, let's check out some exterior features here on our 2020 Cadillac Escalade and Escalade ESV. Uh, cutting edge illumination, they say over here on the far left. Yeah, those full LED blade tail lamps. They're huge, and yeah, they're, they definitely are unmistakable signature of an Escalade for sure. Here's the available 22-inch polished alloy wheels. Well, that's cool because I'm not crazy about the wheels on our premium luxury that we're going to build in price. I'd like to see a better set of wheels. We'll definitely, long as we can, upgrade to these 22-inch wheels. I like it. And then there's these available power assist steps, uh, power deployable steps to lower the greet you so it's easier to get in and out of this uh, big full-size American SUV. Here's some other exterior uh, features. The hands-free lift gate over here on the left. We can see that she's kicking her foot under the bumper. And that's a simple kicking gesture. And that's going to open the tailgate. Uh, there's an invisible rear wiper because I guess it goes up under the uh, under that roof spoiler up under the top there where the third brake light is. So I'm sure it, they tuck it up under there. So that's cool. And they say while preserving the rear design. Yeah, because sometimes uh, rear windshield wipers are ugly. They just don't look good on the vehicle. So that's cool. And then over here on the far right, they say concierge lighting. Standard concierge lighting includes LEDs in the door handles side view mirrors and interior providing clear illumination da, da 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 all right let's move on to what the safety features are okay so for safety features starting over here on the far left we've got surround vision okay uh, surround vision provides a bird's eye view of the area immediately surrounding the vehicle when in low speed drive or reverse there you go they don't tell us whether or not this is standard or not but it's probably, I would think, at a starting MSRP, even the base model is $75,000. Yeah, you would hope that they would throw that in there. Over here in the middle, they got enhanced automatic emergency braking. And over here under safety, they got the safety alert seat. There's our patented safety alert seat provides you the option of getting directional seating vibrations instead of beeps for potential threat alerts. All right, cool. And then the other three safety features, they got the lane keep assist with lane departure warning. You've got the lane change alert with side blind zone alert. Love that. And you got the forward collision alert. Finally, we have performance features. So let's go through these six performance features Cadillac wants to share with us. Starting with right where my cursor is, I guess. So it says, reads the road a thousand times faster. Yeah, this must be that magnetic ride control. This is their suspension. Uh, that automatically adjusts the suspension and road conditions. Here in the middle, we already kind of know this, that uh, all Cadillac Escalades, regardless of trim level, get the one engine. 6.2 liter V8, makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. It's got variable valve timing, uh, direct injection, and active fuel management. Over here on the far left, regardless, uh, it only comes with one transmission. It's a 10-speed automatic transmission. The delivers it says near instantaneous shifts for smooth acceleration and optimal power all right the last three performance features they want to tell us about is the four-wheel drive we do know about the four-wheel drive uh, it's optional uh, but there it is there's your four-wheel drive here in the middle you got stability track 
Stabilitrack uh, selectively applies braking pressure to any one of the vehicle wheel brakes to assist the driver in keeping the vehicle in the intended path. So this helps keep you on the straight and narrow, I suppose. And then ready for the long haul? Yep, we know. The Cadillac Escalade, though you will be hard-pressed to ever see a Cadillac Escalade actually out on the road, actually towing something, they actually can tow. The 2020 Cadillac Escalade can tow 8,000, yeah, a staggering 8,300 pounds. That's no joke. Let's go through the gallery. Uh, here's a nice shot of that interior in that Kona Brown. Here's a nice shot of the uh, driver from the driver's perspective. Uh, here's the center console or, or something like that. Uh, here's that fine craftsmanship. You can see that stitching of the seats nice up close. Uh, here's your fold-down seats on that third row or whatever that is. Yeah, third row. Here they're showing you plenty of storage back there. This must be the short wheelbase because there's just not a lot of room back there. But there's plenty of stuff for that. You can still, the short wheelbase has more room than it, than it used to, I think, with the seats that fold down a lot easier. Um, that fold flat. Back in the day, you had to take the seat out. So it was a whole different ball game. Uh, looks good in here. I think maybe they only come with the bench seating in this, for the second row on the Escalade because it's just a higher spec of vehicle. Here it looks like a wireless charging pad. We can see on this key fob that it's got a uh, um, uh, push button start. That's what this little circle thing is. That's a push button start. A lot of GM cars come standard with that. Here it must be the rear seat entertainment because there's your uh, little headphones. Here's your rear seat climate controls. Pretty cool. Yep, there's your Apple CarPlay. I told you they have Apple, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that there. Exterior looks good. There's your platinum wheels. Looks great. Beautiful car. Love it in white. Gorgeous. Love the Cadillac Escalade. Love the Cadillac Escalade. I did the building price on 2018. I've probably already put the link up to it. Make sure you check out that one. All right, cool. We've gone through all the photos. Let's move on. So, yeah, real quick, just to revisit this whole trim level thing, there's four trim levels. The standard, the standard starts at 75195 Then there's the luxury. It starts at 80795 And then the premium luxury, which we're going to build in price, uh, 85195 And then last but not least, yeah, there's uh, one more tier there. Yeah, there's the platinum trim. The platinum is 92295 It's completely loaded. It's completely loaded. So, yeah, there you go. And there's an available sport edition, apparently, on the Platinum. All right, let's move on. All right, let's check a few specs. On the Escalade ESV, we can see the length is 224.3 inches, and it's 74 inches tall. Uh, on the ESV, there's up to 120.9 cubic feet of cargo space. Oh, the ESV tows a little bit less. Car, uh, it tows a little bit less. It tows 8,100 pounds on two-wheel drive models. Uh, fuel capacity 31 gallons. All right, on two-wheel drive models, yeah. So on a four-wheel drive model, it could tow 300 more pounds or 200 more pounds, and it's got a 31-gallon fuel tank as compo as opposed to the short wheelbase, which has a 26-gallon fuel tank. Nice. Okay, so I think we have found out everything that Cadillac wanted to tell us about the 2020 Escalade. They don't have any more pages. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and click this build and price and go uh, build and price out our premium luxury ESV with those upgraded 22-inch wheels, mind you. Didn't forget about that. Let's go do that. Okay, so here we are on the page. It says, which one do you want to pick? We want to pick the long wheelbase ESV. Okay, yeah, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. We got an option on our four-wheel drive. There we go. We're automatically a four-wheel drive. That puts us at 76490 So we got the ESV, and we're going to get our ESV with the premium luxury. Wow. Premium luxury takes us all the way up to $86,490. Let's move on to colors. I already told you I was all about the crystal white tri-coat. We're all over the crystal, crystal white tri-coat. It's a $1,225 option. We're going, let's go shoot to the interior here real fast. We're going to take a look at that jet black leather seating surfaces. I do like that Kona. That Kona is talking to me a little bit. That Kona is talking to me a little bit. Maybe I should jump out of my comfort zone, eh? Should I jump out of my comfort zone and do the Kona? I'm going to say no. Because you can't go back. I mean, you buy the car and go, ah, I should have got the, you can't go back and trade it up. I'm going to do the jet black leather. I'm going to do the jet black leather. Let's move on to the packages. All right. Oh, there's a sport edition for this as well. That gives us the 22-inch wheels. And what else does it give us? 
gloss black front grill, header, lower grill surround, fascia, uh, da 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 da. We had to change our paint color though because it only you can only get it with red passion tint coat, satin steel metallic, or black raven. Guess what? We're not getting the package. What's the sport performance braking package though? Now this I might be interested in. Gives us upgraded brakes because this thing's big. It needs that I think anyway. Um, wow. Gives us the sport edition, so it gives us the brakes, gives us the wheels. Yeah, can we get this? That'll work. Uh, add the Cadillac Sport. You know what? I guess we're just gonna have to change the paint color, aren't we? We can't get away from that because we gotta get the Cadillac. We gotta get that Escalade Sport Edition. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So here we are. We're sitting at 90 grand. Real fast. Let me jump back to color. See where we're at on the color. Yeah, it put us at Black Raven. I don't want the Black Raven. I'll do the red passion tent coat. I'll do the red passion tent coat ESV with the Escalade Sport Edition and the performance brakes. And I guess I could have done the Radiant package. I could have done the Radiant package and saved us a bunch of money. Could have done the Radiant package. That gives us the uh, a polished grill, polished exhaust tip, the 22-inch wheels. That's also cool. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do. Hang on. Let me fix this up. Actually, I decided to keep the sport package. When I removed the sport package, I felt sad. And so we're going to keep the sport package. The heck with the gloss package. It's okay. And now that I realize that the grill is black and the wheels are like a, 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 a dark color, let's go ahead and just make this uh, a black raven. Let's just make this S this ESV Cadillac S all black. So it's going to be all black. Let's go back to packages. <laughs> All right, so we're going to skip the Radiant package. Do we need the interior protection package? That gives us all-weather mats and the all-weather cargo mat. Yeah, I want that. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do that, $270. Let's move on to exterior. All right, let's see what there is to be had over here. Well, Cadillac is offering a lot of wheels for the Escalade. We, ours are bundled into a package, but as you can see, and we're not going to change that, but as you can see, they got a lot of wheels here. They got a lot of wheels. Look at these things. Those are pretty. Those are nice. I like those. Oh, look at these. These are nice, too. Oh, they don't show... Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's a nice wheel as well. They got a lot of wheel and tire... Pa uh, they got a lot of wheels. That's really cool. Ours are bundled into a package, so we're not going to mess with it. But, uh, yeah, it's cool. Let's take a look, a look. There we go. I wanted to get a different shot on that. Uh, we got the engine block heater. We don't need that. We go ahead and get those wheel locks. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the wheel locks. All right? We're going to get the wheel locks. Do we need the black integrated roof rail, cross rails? Nope. Power retractable assisted steps? Yes. Front and rear black molded splash guards? Yes. Uh, wow, to do that we have to remove the steps? So no, we're going to keep the steps. Polished exhaust tip? Yeah, give me the polished exhaust tip, as long as we don't have to make any changes. Okay, cool. Uh, front license plate bracket? I'm sure the dealer is going to take care of that. All right, let's move on to the interior. Uh, every, every box is pretty much checked. Do we want the power second row 60-40 split folding bench seat? Um, maybe, no, I don't think we need that. We're fine. Well, the power second row. No, we don't need a power second row. We don't need the power second row. Uh, digital headphones, no. Premium carpeted floor mats, yeah, we're going to need those. Um, what else is there? Uh, retractable cargo shade. Yeah, I want that. And there's some options. We don't need a highway safety kit. So let's move on to the accessories. And let me just tell you about General Motors accessories. Well, let's see what they got under performance here. Air intake. Wow, exhaust tip, exhaust upgrade. Too bad they don't have pitchers. Air intake system. Uh, oh, that's for the 5.3. See, that, there you go. This explains it. All right, that's not even for the right engine. We know that this engine gets a 6.2. All right, so for General Motors, when they, at the end of all their build, at the end of all their car configurators, they throw this accessories things in here, and most of these accessories aren't even related to a, a particular car. For instance, they got all these battery chargers and lots of them, battery jump starters. I mean, all this stuff is really irrelevant to our build, and so. And then I even showed you right there. They go, oh, an air intake. I got all excited about it, and it's for a 5.3 liter. It's not even for the for the Cadillac. So let's move on to the summary. You get it? Yeah, we're at the summary. We're sitting at $92,000 for this bad boy. Let's go take a look at the photo. There it is. $92,000 for this. 
We started life at a little bit cheaper than that, right? We started life at a little bit cheaper than that. I don't know what the base price was. What was it? I can't even remember. $98,000, something like that. Hang on one second. Well, here's our premium luxury right here. It was 85195 That's the short wheelbase. So, yeah, just under $90,000. And so, yeah, we're sitting here at $92,000, 885 and we got all that performance stuff. I like this SUV. Nothing wrong with it at all. So, yeah, there it is. 2020 Cadillac ESV, four-wheel drive, premium luxury, fully kitted out with all the performance features, just under, you know, just under $95,000. That's a lot of money, but it's a lot of SUV. All right, so yeah, there it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video.